There's a lot going on currently and we're getting overwhelmed with questions. So much so I can't answer them all during our Facebook Live sessions on Mondays. So I thought I'd help you out here. First up, Evelyn from Bendigo wrote in. Now she's got some big hairy caterpillars that are eating all of her plants at the moment. And that's what they do this time of the year. You see, they're in a mad rush to basically turn into the butterflies a little bit later in spring that will be flying all over your garden. So you have to work out, do I really want to kill them? The solution could be to manually collect them and move them to places that you're okay with them munching on plants in. That's a simple solution, but if they're uncontrollable and you have to spray, try one of the biological controls. There's a few. The oldest fashion one is called Dipel, and more recently there's something called Success. Now both of them use a bacterial concoction. It's digested by the insect when it eats the leaves, and this disrupts their digestive processes, stopping them from eating your plants and getting control of the situation quickly. Now, Kat from Elizabeth wrote in about her lawn. You see, during the winter, it's got quite patchy. In fact, there's a lot of weeds everywhere and she wants to know how to get rid of them. And you're quite correct, Kat, you have to do it now. Now, broadleaf weeds can be taken out with a weed and feed. Some of those more difficult weeds, bindi and also wintergrass, need selective weed sprays, but it's probably too late to really do anything about them now. The most important thing, feed your lawn, get it growing strongly, and it'll smother those weeds out. Nelly from Artarman in New South Wales has asked about weeds. She reckons it's a record year for germination. And in many states, the extra wet winter has supported weed germination and survival, which means more weeds. And in garden beds, there's something you can do now that's so much better than spraying or even the back-breaking hand weeding. You can cultivate. I know it looks hard, but honestly, it's not you need to get your hands on one of these things, a cultivator. Get out 15 minutes every day, move to different patches of the garden and turn those weeds into the topsoil. They make great green mulch, but most importantly, this is the latest trend in fitness. Forget Zumba, forget spin classes, get out and get cultivating. And Jerry from Mount Macedon is concerned about her horseradish as they're flowering. She wants to propagate the plants, but what should she do? Wait for the seed to appear and then sow it? Or divide the existing plants? What a dilemma. And the answer is, dig it up, divide and conquer. Look, this isn't an overly difficult thing to do. What you want to do is get it in around the outside and then start to lift them. Because what you'll find is that when you lift it out of the soil, and you can see it's coming through now, this is amazing, you'll end up with this Beautiful, big root system. Look at that root. Now that's what you want to eat, but it's the bit above that's an opportunity. And you can see here by simply putting the spade in, I've ended up with multiple plants. I'm going to cut the foliage off these and plant them. I'll keep that and that, use it in the kitchen. And I've got brand new horseradish plants for later on in the season. It's brilliant. Well, there you go. Four questions down. 50 more to be done, but don't worry. I'll answer those for you on Monday morning when we run our next Facebook Live Garden Guru session. Make sure you join us then.